Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Mercedes, also known as That Mom and That Mom Wellness Coach here on the internet. Welcome back. My bullet journal is late this month. I apologize. I don't think anybody's going to really be upset with me about being late though um, this month. So we're just going to get into it. I thank you guys all for being here. You guys know how chronically late I am with a lot of things and I'm really, really trying. Actually, if you guys have been on my website, I have a new blog up. And if you guys have been in my other social circles for my Instagrams and everything, and actually here on YouTube, I have been posting a lot of the reels I made for Halloween. So a little bit late, but we got some stuff up and I'm very happy about it. Um, I kind of flashed you guys my images for this uh, theme here. I Googled fall scenes. I googled fall harvest. I googled just any like gourds and pumpkins. So that is how I got this little bit of an image here. It's just a little hodgepodge of all the little things because November is an interesting month. Um, for me, November always said, hey, it's Harry Potter month, because as a lot of you guys know, that a lot of the Harry Potter movies came out in November, and they actually kind of rotated on some years from being on my sister's birthday and not on my sister's birthday. So my sister was reluctant to come with me to a couple Harry Potter midnight opens and everything. Um, but those are some good memories for me. I don't know if they're very good memories for her or my family because it, even when I started working, it was Harry Potter. Like there was a Harry Potter midnight opening. I went, I went to a Harry Potter midnight opening when I was pregnant with my first daughter, but my husband put his foot down and said we could not take a newborn to the theater. Of course that was for seven and 7.2. Um, it didn't go, to the theater so that makes only three movies that I didn't see at a midnight opening in the theater which would be one two and seven point two so but anyway back to the spread I sent some of these images to my friend and I had a um, little scratch paper of me trying to do little things and drawings and like I sent very unsolicited pictures of my little scrap paper asking what do you see on this scrap paper because I had tried to draw a pumpkin log which I was not successful in and it did not get put in on this uh, spread I made a pumpkin log it, it broke on me but it turned out delicious and my kids loved it and my husband loved it and my mother-in-law really enjoyed it as well it and her sugar did not like each other but it was worth it because it was delicious <laughs> Um, as you can see, I am trying my hardest to make the pumpkins and the gourds look like pumpkins and gourds because a lot of things, if you don't quite get right, they can end up looking completely different. So I did try to use gradients and I did try to use um, different ways of shading things and as you can see I put like the darker lines in and I put the lighter lines in and I tried I really guys like I went back to like art class I only had art class like once or twice um and they were actually when I went through my online high school I did art class so not really in-person learning art techniques but like I, I tried I tried guys I really like drawing um, it's always been one of my little like releases and it's really, I haven't made enough time to draw lately. Like in the past, like 15, 20 years, I have not, since I started working, like working, working, I kind of put drawing on the back burner. So in my bullet journal is my little drawing, drawing releases. And now that my daughter is taking up all these different arts and crafts and she's wanting to draw more and she's wanting to sew and she's cross stitching and she's uh, crocheting she is a little me so anything that I was interested in is now starting to come back because now I am passing that on to my daughter so little things like this in my bullet journal make me happy and I try 
to make them look as good as I possibly can possibly can so you guys can see like my excited hands and some images and some frames and that is just that is just pure excitement for me because it looks like it's supposed to look and it's looking right and I'm just I'm happy with how they all look now I could have added a couple more pieces of corn to this little corn bundle this would have made it a little bit easier but I didn't um in texting the, the completed image of this to my friend uh we were trying to we were trying to like brainstorm because the middle of it it's actually kind of left wide open and i'm not really unsure what to put there um we were talking about maybe putting like a cornucopia in there so maybe next year i'll try to do this image again and i'll try to throw in that cornucopia let me know in the comments. You guys know the drill. If you guys think it looks good, let me know. If you guys think it needs a little bit of tweaking here and there, let me know. Who knows? Maybe I will just end up trying to redo this picture altogether. And um, my daughter is interested in painting. Well, both of my kids are interested in painting. But I know that the dollar store has little easels and little um, canvases and stuff. I could probably... Uh, get them stuff and get me some stuff at the same time and try to redo this image so let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in i don't know about doing it as a live stream but maybe as like a longer live stream style video if you guys are interested in that we'll just you know i know a lot of channels a lot of channels that i watch actually have art uh, Wednesdays and it's really fun but I know I have a lot of things going on, on Wednesday so maybe like an art Sunday or an art Saturday I don't know let me know what you guys think and we'll talk about it in the comments um, this piece of pumpkin pie I tried to put some shadowing in and I probably messed it up a little bit but I still think in the end it looks like a piece of pumpkin pie I feel like the image as a whole as it stands right now as you're seeing it is how it is still in my bullet journal and I do really like the way it came out now if I was a little bit better at just art skills in general I could possibly make it look like you're sitting on a table or something like that but I feel like the way it is looks very good for me doing it um, like I said, it's been years and this is like in my bullet journal is the art that I'm able to do lately. Um, one of my favorite spreads, I will go ahead and link up at the top. And that was my Stargate spread, like my SG-1 Stargate spread, like chef's kiss. I have no clue how I was able to make all those chevrons and everything just so hmm great um i actually do have a clue it was because i was on night shift and i used spare minutes to draw little bits for like two weeks until we got to filming that spread which i don't have time to do anymore <laughs> it's a very different life from night shift to day shift and i will constantly say that night shift was a lie and I really shouldn't have done night shift in the first place because everybody really just you know kind of talked me into doing the night shift and then I was like yeah I could do it I can do it for a year or two you know I said I could do it for a year or two and it was 2019 and that kind of you know you, you guys remember what happens around that time um <laughs> so yeah that's how I feel about that not doing it again was a time in my life but not no more and after reading studies and everything night shift is not all that great for you anyway so lesson learned you live you learn you get loves or you know I don't actually well no I did get loves actually so I can say that you live you learn you get loves um not sponsored by loves by the way guys if you that was just something that randomly popped into my ADHD brain, into my neuro weirdness brain, not calling anybody out because I am the first person that when people think of like some neuro stuff, like I hope you guys think of me with how seamlessly I can flogger to different topics. And that also happens at work. And I'm pretty sure 
I, I basically say that I make people smile with the little things that I do, little things here and there. But like genuinely, people aren't forgetting me anytime soon because of some of the little things that I do, which is good. Um, my daughter once asked me, is it okay that I'm weird? And I said, yeah, it's absolutely fine that you're weird because people tend to remember weird people. As long as you're being true to yourself, you're not being weird. And I'd like to pass that on to you guys too. As long as you're being true to yourself and you're not hurting anybody by your weirdness, be weird. What is the one song in the Shrek musical? Let your freak flag fly. Um, and that is how I live my life now. Letting my freak flag fly. Uh, all of my weird endeavors. Let's put a pause to this crazy um, speaking. Let me let you guys know about the calendar spread here. Exact same calendar spread we've been doing for over a year. Um, at some point in time, I will do some of the floating boxes again because I really miss that. And speaking about that um, Stargate SG-1 spread, I'm pretty sure there were floating boxes in that spread. But right now, this spread works for me and the boxes are six by six. Um, and it fits the whole seven days perfectly on here. Here's a quick flip to the... Um, moon calendar which um today's the test that i'm doing this voiceover and we have totally had some already some good moon we had a harvest moon already well that was towards the end of last month but it was also uh at the beginning of this month so where is so i can tell you You would think I'd be more put together. Okay, so the first of the month was a new moon. The ninth of the month, which is last night, was a first quarter moon. The 15th of this month is our first full moon. And the 22nd of the month is our last quarter, third quarter moon. I don't know why I said first full moon, but I did. And sorry about that. Um, well, it's because two months... A couple months here have two full moons and not full moons. A couple months have two new moons like December will have two new moons, the first and the 30th. So that is probably why I got confused and said our first full moon. So, so sorry about that. But like I said, um, last night was the first quarter moon. So tonight is probably a good night to do little things of witchiness. You guys know, if you guys have been here for any amount of time, you'll know that that book of shadows page actually gets used up um, many months. Some months I am really bad and don't put anything on it. This last month I actually have one two three four extra little papers down in my little book of shadows page of all the extra little notes that I had and I was putting in there and at some point here I will migrate everything from these book of shadows pages in my bullet journal to my actual book of shadows so life lesson there if you guys are um, ADHD or ADD or anything like I am and for me, having the Book of Shadows pages in my bullet journal have helped me um, because I don't have to remember to bring out my whole other journal. And actually, it's a lot of little like scribbles in here so I can actually put down thoughts. And if, you know, quote unquote, a spell has worked for me, um, I will put it down in my actual Book of Shadows because, yeah, some people have asked me that they listen to my channel and they ask me they're like do you really consider yourself a witch and yeah i'm d definitely out of the closet at this point in time now um and i don't know if i've ever said that i want to apologize to lipstick legion craft which she now goes by a completely different name online but she was so sweet and she was in one of my real one of my lives like when i first started doing lives and I sent her the cringiest message because like I was like oh my gosh like I really wanted to shout you out and everything but like nobody knows I'm out of the closet yet um I still work for you know a mostly Catholic organization most of the organizations for like the older companies in America are still you know quote-unquote Catholic so at the time I was like really scared and I was just so cringe and I was just like I'm so sorry like I really 
wanted to shout you out but like now like i'll shout her to the rooftops like go jc's apothecary i believe it's her shop so definitely go take a look and go support her she's a mama too um and now i'm fully out of the closet and i can say that and like actually yeah my water cup has um stickers and i'm very much out of the closet now <laughs> if that um kind of helps out a little bit yeah i apologize fully but people like to ask me sometimes if the things that i am doing with my spell work is actually working and i say yes because i see things working and i see little things i am not asking for astronomical changes but i do do little things and i do believe the little things work out perfectly um oh little flash for my habit log and everything as it was on one the day that i was filling out all this stuff um and doing all these spreads because i'm already on my garden spread i like talking over spreads if you guys are new here i'm very sorry for that um my garden spread is my typical spread my saturday and sunday are three by fours and my monday through fridays are four by four um on our dot grid here oh and if anybody is new here um and has totally been wondering what size freaking notebook am i using because never said that right now i'm using an a5 and it is a scribbles that matter a5 and I need to put in a new code for you guys in my description bar because the code that I had was, I guess, only good for so many days. And because it never got used, it got um, discontinued, discontinued, taken out. Um, but I do have the codes for friends and family. And when they send me, when I get my um, packages, I do get the little ones that I can send out to friends and family. So I will be updating my link tree with that code so that you guys can have that code to get a little bit off of your Scribbles That Matter book. I already have my shopping cart full of like three or four more Scribbles That Matter journals that I would like to be getting soon. I also have a shopping cart with Typhosi, which guys, if you haven't seen the Typhosi ones, they are like Archer and Olive ones. They are really super cute. They also have uh, 160 GSM paper and I just really want a couple of those. The Typhosi brand has... Um, it's an, a, I can't think of the word, um, the star signs. It has Zodiac. There you go. That's the one I was looking for. It has Zodiac um, images on some of their journals. And I fully want to get all of my family's Zodiacs in these journals, even though I am the only one. Scratch that. Um, me and my daughter are the only ones that use um, the dot grid bullet journal paper my daughter has her bullet journal and she has a very stripped back uh version of her bullet journal compared to my bullet journal she just has a spot for the month and a spot to write down notes and that is all she has she's maybe used four pages of her bullet journal but i do want to still get everybody their zodiac in the typho c notebook because i believe that it's just so cute and it's very personalized and everybody can use a notebook at some point in their life and i do believe that it's a cute gift so i am essentially now ensuring that they sell out before i get there so um yeah i don't have a code for typho z but if you guys go and check them out just you know think of me while you're doing it <laughs> um here we are on our weekly spread because we passed by our book shadows page and we passed by our reflection page just they were just little headers at the top of the page and that is basically what works for me and that's what's been I've been basically doing the Alistair method on those pages where you just write down your notes like consecutively, like in lines, and it's been working. So um, here is our weekly spread, which I totally messed up on, but it worked for my favor. So we have in between. OK, so. Yeah, I saw that I had no marks in this at all when I started. So, and I messed up just a little bit and it worked. So the 
far two columns are eight by tens and then the middle row column is like a seven by ten so it's just one off in the middle but it works then i got one through 24 on two pages and then i only had to do another six boxes on the other side to finish out the month so that was really really good and it still does give me space to work and put down notes and everything in these little spaces i've also now tried to not give myself too many things to do um because if i am left to my own devices i will give myself about a million and a half things to do and i will feel so down on myself for not completing everything um i was just listening to a here we go. Here's another uh, shameless drop of people that I love to listen to and watch and see and everything. Um, a Planner Pals podcast with two true Planner Pals, Mark and Jess. You guys know, Jessie Karan fan up here. So it's not a real surprise that I'm saying the Planner Pals podcast. One of them had recently set a tip and it was to... It was somebody else's method, but I can't remember the method it was. So, but they basically said, have six things on your list to do. If you go over that six, that's fine. But by having six things and you can make them relatively small, relatively big, you can put, you know, dishes, laundry, finish my project, you know, school paper, whatever it is down on your thing and it works out because you've only had six things to do. If it's the day for laundry, put down laundry. If it's the day for trash, put down trash. If it's the day for recycling, put down recycling. But by having only six things on your list to do, that leaves you the room to get those things done and not feel too overwhelmed. But then also for the next morning, put down the six things you need to do that day on another list and basically just go like that, you know, not limiting yourself to six, but also not telling yourself to do more than six. It definitely has been a mind changer because I putting six things in these little calendar boxes work out just fine but also now I'm like not constantly scratching things out that I didn't get to so I feel like it works I feel like it was great and everything um, here we are at the end of the bullet journal and I am throwing a little bit more of my stickers in here the stickers that I felt worked because like I said I don't really have any stickers that work for November but these ones work well enough um, that I end up picking out and I do like I said in my last video want to use my stickers because I have a lot of stickers so I should start using them oh um I didn't mention that under the last week in the um weekly spread right there and right underneath the 30th and everything is I put down four spaces for four projects because the month that the months that I had a little bit of extra space and gave myself that space to be a project list I found myself actually accomplishing more things because I was able to write out the project and write out the steps so that helped that was a game changer if you guys definitely want to try that, let me know how that goes. And you all know that I am still working on my course. Um, it is not live yet, but I hope that it will be live very soon. And if you guys want more information about that, definitely go to my website. I have some information kind of spread out and everything and just general pricing. And I believe I might have a free sale up right now. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely take a look or leave me a comment below and I will leave you the link, um, a more direct link for that and everything. So we are here at the end of the spread. I would like to thank you all for being here through my rambling and ranting. And I hope that this month treats you very well and you treat others the way that you want to be treated because we have to let kindness lead the way. We need to, like I said, treat others the way we want to be treated because treating others amazing and getting treated like poo-poo in return it's not the vibes so i really hope that this helps and we'll see you guys in the next video make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye